What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off up on last time, uh, we are slowly building up our garrison here at Konigsberg. Uh, we have no enemies on continental Europe, which is nice. And but the big thing is we have secured uh, North America and we're moving in troops to solidify our hold. Um, but I think so. The move, so the strategy I believe, is to probably position some infantry <clears throat> along this border, probably here, ready to push east into Quebec, when we never to be declared war on France, and then probably start to build up a second smaller force, which we might sail around to start to knock out some of these pirates, because they are causing trouble for us. Then back in England. I am raising a new force with Scottish infantry with a aim to sail towards Algiers. So let's have a bit of a scout. I mean, you're not going to stop us. So to try to claim the territory to force a peace with the Barbary States. Although I might just put that port under blockade. May as well move my... Raiding east of Gibraltar. We've still got our navy expanding. I might actually send... No. I do need to build up a home fleet. So I don't really have one. And in terms of tech, we are going after, basic, going after basic steam pump to get a bit more income from industry. But then I do want to go hard and fast down this route towards fire by rank. Because that is hella important. Let's hit end turn. Because at some point we may end up fighting <laughs> fighting against the French, as is tradition. But I am keen to maintain my alliances with continental Europe. In a thematic way, Austria's taken Poland. That's pretty big. The Ottomans have taken Venice. Holy moly. That's pretty big. The Maratha Confederacy still concerns us. New Spain are clearing out the Americas for us, which is awfully decent of them. Um, it might be... Well, it will be worth that. The army that's in currently up, up in very, very northern America, or northern in the Northern Americas, they can go and begin to fight the pirate states. It'd be nice to take Algiers just to force them, the Barbary states, to try and make peace. Grand Bahamas blockaded, we know that. Upgrading our roads, but I'm fairly sure now these chaps can leave the territory. Ah, one more turn. And that's when our priest kicks in. Although he's not. He doesn't occur. Convert the town in four turns. That's pretty good. Uh, let's probably... Let's pick up a new magistrate. Let's pick up a trapper post. And let's get some... We are getting new roads. Good stuff. Good. These men are in good position. So the reason why I sent the priest up here first was because I want to convert York Factory so I'd never have to send him back up there again. He can stay in this area. Okay, let's do some economy investing. Then let's go back to England. So you can pick up probably another unit of Scots Line Infantry. How many of these can I actually recruit? Ten. Okay, let's recruit four and that'll be quite an interesting core of the army. One more turn till we get... Ooh, Venice has been destroyed. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn. I was wondering what happened to that territory. Uh, but it looks like they traded it with the Mughals. Looks like they're up, they're in for some rebelling, if that's the case. 
probably also want to keep the upgrades going in Konigsberg to make sure that the army can, or well, I can put together a, a reasonable force to defend itself. Austria has been repelled from Gdansk. It's very tempting to try to send a small force to southern India in an attempt to blunt the Marathas earlier rather than later, especially as we are allied with the Mughals. That would be nice, but I think our first goal is to uh, make sure we are continuing our recruitment plans in the, in the navies to get them out to the trade zones and continuing with our incremental strategies in the Caribbean. This good old Savoy have sorted out. Yeah, there go the Mughals. If the, if the Marathas start to take too much more land in the in in, in the in India then I will take them out. Okay, let's auto resolve that. We rule the way. Back you go. Yeah, if the Marathas start doing too much damage we will attempt to Ooh, they've asked for peace and peace anyway. Yes. So now my North Africa plan is withdrawn and instead the India plan is up. France and Spain have broken their alliance. Interesting. The Bahamas have been blockaded, but that's expected. Okay, let's get the new mine upgrade. Barnaby Turpin, you've moved up to reinforce. See that there is a guy up on that trade post, but we can't do anything about it. You've moved up to reinforce Leroy Glover. Peace treaty signed with the Barbary States. That's pretty perfect because, like I said, this army can now go on and actually march towards India. Let's pick up the steam pump. Okay, let's probably make Day a Admiral. Terence Bacon. And let's probably base my uh, fleet or my uh, my actual home fleet somewhere else, probably like Waterford. In which case the sloop can be scuppered if we're going to base a fleet out of this port. We can then move uh, this unit of cannons, you can join Winston. Uh, let's pick up a, a militia in Ireland to go occupy Waterford. So these lads can then probably do with some marines for support. We can slowly build up an army to go hit Karnataka and that would, my sword will act as a buffer to prevent them from transversing that territory to get to us. Uh, we've got Still got fifth rates being recruited, so that's good. These guys can leave. Minus one, they can. They'll just be a bit grumpy. Get you chaps over to Fort Albany. Where you can disband the troops for now, just so I can keep. So I don't forget how many I've got. Let's drop this unit of Hessian line in. Because right now... <laughs> unless I start recruiting fifth rates out of here, which isn't a bad idea. It's not all we can do. Let's hit end turn. Ha! <laughs> so, this is the test. Calling in all of our allies against the French. We may lose a lot of allies here, but this is the reason why you create grand alliances.
Portugal, Sweden, Hanover and Austria have refused to join our side. The devils. <clears throat> the absolute devils. This is why... Gah! Gah! Um, but yeah, you create these grand alliances to try and drive these global wars, the wars, but uh, yeah, there's only so much you can do. You can stack the deck in your favour, but if they're not interested in helping you out, then uh, they will screw you. Sorry Portugal, you're going to get gobbled up by Spain. That's what you get for betraying one of your allies. So it looks like my army in North America that was going to go hit uh, pirate territory is now instead going to go hit French territory. Here, move, here come the Iroquois. It looks like they've joined the enemy. But it's got to be done. This is it. So my army to the north is probably going to go and secure Newfoundland before landing in Maine and pushing south. Oh, I forgot to move my navy back from raiding down by uh, Morocco. They may even go to the Caribbean to fight the French, to fight the, the um, pirates. Okay, so there's John Locke. Let's get him into Cambridge. Okay, Cambridge, you start to chase down military syllabus, <clears throat> build the drill school, then research fire by rank. Alliance broken with Sweden, Austria, Portugal. My sword's been destroyed. The Marathas are coming. Oh no. Uh, diplomacy. Major nations, Mughals. I'll give them all that technology and I'll demand a grand and... Wait, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. you got to click them all at the same time. I'm okay with trying to prop them up with this, because this should give them a good advantage over the, over the Marathi Confederacy in the field. Now, they can't give us very much money, but I'm going to give them the tech to try and keep this conflict um, bubbling. It's not often I kind of spar with each partner. So, actually, I'm, I'm at peace with the Iroquois. The Iroquois, Iroquois, for now. See him in March. Ah, oh, Nats, I forgot. Uh, no, you have to come back. You are going to slowly pick up <clears throat> the more Hessian line. Sorry, I've got to clear my throat. And I'm back. So. Let's keep upgrading. We may end up getting an attack towards um, our colonies. Maybe by the French. But keep recruiting Hessian line. There is a limit to how many we can recruit. Kingston blockaded. Poland, war between Poland and Sweden is broken out. Oxford's upgraded their university. So, Your Majesty. Ready for let us build our fleet, build our armies yes. to respond to the great enemy across the sea. We will pick up the unit of just line just to expand my core force. Not a great force, but then again, we've not got a good one either. Did the United Provinces join us in war? They are at war with us. Hey, the French are at war with the Iroquois. Fascinating. 
So this force I do want to push up and probably hit Quebec. To be honest, this army could maybe walk to Quebec, but I'd like to sail them around. Probably I'll probably avoid the Inuit for now then. Focus straight for Newfoundland, secure this trade for us, and hit them at Fort Nashwak, by which time hopefully Fort Salt uh Fort Salt St. Marie will have recruited a reasonable garrison and chilled out so much so I could push my men east. Let's get my militia into the home port. Good. One more turn till we get social. Is it social contracts? Yep. And then two more turns till we get military syllabus to unlock drill school. Which will be a very significant technology. Uh, French fleet are challenging us. I suppose I should probably try and fight this, because it is a one-on-one -on -one engagement with the same ship. I mean, bear in mind, I'm still pants, so this could go wrong. But I have the weather gauge, so that's something. Let's go over here. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is chop recording and bring you guys back when we're a bit closer. So, see you in a second. And we're back. So what I'm going to do is pivot my ship like so, to get a long range broadside off with her port guns. Then immediately heave over to try and get her starboard guns to bear. So we're at full chat. Probably going to speed up time. There we go. Fire as she bears. Although it looks like it wants to take. They want to take their time. There we go. Okay, no, I think I've got to own it now. I can't cut across there anymore. So let's try and reload my broadside. Could we dismaster? Maybe. I want to get some good shots in onto her, into her uh, hull. Keep broadsiding. Slow down. Okay, just, okay, hold on. No, spill all the wind from your sail. Any guns, come on, any guns. Would be, this would be a great time to fire a broadside of chain shot. Still good. Break away because it looks like she might be attempting to board us. So let's maintain separation. Heal around to the to our port. It does look like she wants to try and get close. So I want to slow her down. Actually, broadside there is pretty good. Let's try cutting behind her. My starboard guns. 
going to be in a good position. I'd like to try and get some chain shot hits into her full masts. Try slow her down, let's speed up time once more, because it looks like she might be attempting to withdraw. But no, she is not. Pair my broadside left, because I've lost. I've got about the same amount of guns in service as she does. Trouble is though, she's doing worse from a morale perspective, but we're not doing so good from a damage perspective. Let's slow down. You want to spend as much time in a blind zone ahead like that as we can. Let's turn off broadside. Because generally when the guns fire at will, that's it's better at this angle. Not when she's about to fire a broadside though, or she's getting into position. Did we fire most of our guns? Fire the three we've got ready to try and get some hits. Our starboard broadside is the stronger one. So let's try and get some speed. Probably try and do something. No, nope, just go straight. Open up the open up the engagement. Then pivot. That's right, turn on the spot like a little ballerina. Chiefly because I can get my other guns to bear. And I probably should have just avoided that whole engagement and gone left, like so. Stick to round shot, pivot to the left. Keep pivoting. Fire as she bears. Yeah, our ship is not doing as well as theirs. Probably because I did waste time trying to get some shots into the mast, but I think it was probably worth chancing. If we slow down, we might time this rather well. Attempting to turn into us again. Come on, men. Reload like your lives depend on it, because they do. Speed up time. Pivoting, going into the wind, so we want to fire this broadside and immediately break right. Miss. Come about. Starboard guns are not as good. Our battery is vulnerable. Let's let these guys fire at will. Just a 
better. Oh, my ship is going down. She's taking on water. Oh, there she goes. She surrendered because she sunk. Damn it. There they go. <laughs> I suppose it's because we did have... I didn't try and mess around with those canister with, with those chain shots at least they were not they were not captured Enemy sail spotted. I mean I'm not going to fight this one now <laughs> hurrah is ours. yeah you got ahead of yourself didn't you although they're probably going to send an actual fleet now to come and kill us you must remember the Austrians are no longer our allies Prussia offers an alliance. Who are you enemies with? Do I want to get involved in a war against Russia, Poland, Austria, or do I want to be? Well, I shouldn't get. I'm not going to get dragged into war with them. But should I cause them to have negative feelings against me? Probably not. I mean, a grand and proved animal husbandry is pretty neat, but sorry, Prussia, you're on your own. But yeah, that naval engagement highlights. I need overwhelming naval superiority. Because if I don't have it, I suck. Could probably do with another military port in London, in England being recruited. Or being being constructed. Let's keep an eye on how the French expansion into North America goes. So it's nice to know that the French, that the Iroquois are at war with the French. That means you haven't got to worry about them just yet. Crimea's going to steal our spot. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, Colin, don't you get any ideas? Then the Piratas. Really don't want us to trade. Cool, so we've got social contract. So let's go for division of labour's good for the growth in town wealth. You men combine. Get these fifth rates over to West Africa. Or fourth, let's get two fourth rates coming in. Let's upgrade some of our basic farms. Lots of ports blockaded, fleets destroyed. So you're almost 100% Protestant, which is good. So we have to march you back to stop them from throwing an absolute strop. Religious unrest is only minus one, so it's not a massive deal there. Forward. You men join the force. Letter of demands from the Hurons, you've sorted that out. Works on strike, you've sorted that out there. Lots of recruitment, which you've also sorted. Yeah, let's get some farm upgrades. Your Majesty. And probably recruit one more unit of cavalry and a unit of line infantry. And this army is probably going to deploy against. We could try. We could grab a an Indian territory here because it's just controlled by Maratha Maratha rebels. But it doesn't provide us any cool resources. It's just two regular farms and some villages, so we probably want to sell them along to go and destroy the French in the Americas. That's probably the better way to do it. That's the blockade as well. One more turn till we get military syllabus. So let's hit end turn. Come the French Navy, they've they've gone towards Newfoundland, which is not great. 
No problems is it getting out of the East Indies. Poland is, is clinging on. Could really do with Russia storming in some troops to help them, Russia. Wink, wink. The Ottomans are going to be starting to spam troops heading west. They've also taken up positions in the trade zones. So is Sweden. The Marathas are coming, but are they going to come and screw with us? No, they are not. So I'm concerned about sending my army from Rupert's Land around the top of America. Chiefly because I know there's a big French fleet out there somewhere in that region. And I do not want, uh, want the risk. Ah yes, and the first thing I will do is pull my troops back out of the uh, near the Straits of Gibraltar. got military syllabus let's go straight for the drill school and let's go pick out my ships so my fourth rate oh, I can't I can't go there at all because uh, the Genoans have blocked it very well we'll just raid two of our mines have been built yes, my Lord. got more cavalry and infantry let's just get this army Embarked. Let's sell them in the Sloop Champion to the Americas. Let's get the Sloop back in port. Let's probably upgrade. Opera House is definitely a good idea. Or I might like some more fifth rates first. So yeah, this force up here, Rupert's Land, you guys might not actually sail around. You may get a general, Elias Haskett, who looks very familiar. Scout the road to Canada. So the Northwest Territories are now entirely Protestant. Well, near as damn it, I'm not going to keep them there for that. Let's get them over, get the priest over to here. Start to convert here on territory. I mean, at some point, this navy's gonna have to move. That's not today. Our spy's still doing well. Let's do a token upgrade and get an another unit of infantry for this garrison. Oh, there's a French army in Calais. Do they still want an alliance? No. You're in trouble, Prussia. What I want is to see the United Provinces push on into Paris. That would be brilliant. Yeah, let us assume the French coast is more defended than it will be in reality. And we're not just going to send an army to go take Paris. Because that would be a bit not great. Um, we were allies. But you are cho you've chosen to... Ignore us. What if I don't give you any technology and you pay me for the alliance? Yeah, I thought so. But I definitely will drop them quicker than a stick with a poop on it. If the Russians come calling. Because screw you, Sweden. That's what you get. You wouldn't help us out against our greatest enemy. So what do you expect me to do? The... The Marathas have taken Hyderabad. That's scary. Go on, the Mughals. You can hold them off. At least it's a bit different. It's been, for most of my recent campaigns, it's been the, the Mughals that have been dominating and the Marathas don't usually win. So it's, it'll be interesting to see a bit of a difference. I mean... Generally, the strategic situation is the same. They swarm me with loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of troops. 
But beyond that, it's not very different. Carbines. Oh, damn. I let it go and start researching automatically. Two turns till the drill school, so let's get you researching something that takes two turns, like flintlock cannon. Let's get the faster reloading times. Has Genoa moved at sea? They have. Let's bring our... Okay, first of all, bring our ships back. Hannibal the fourth rate can go join our home fleet. And this fleet can go join them at Portsmouth. Ah, nope. You chaps repel, uh, replenish or repair. These chaps can repair. Let's send one fourth rate to our home fleet. One fourth rate Argus can sail to West Africa as well. And our army has landed. Or one of them is. So they've bottled up the French, this French force here at St. John's. Let us land behind their lines and march on the region's capital. Let's use this sloop as a bit of a suicide sloop to have a look. Have the French fleet made port in Calais? They have with an army. Let's get this ship to go raid up here in Paris. Not Paris, at the top. You guys push on into... Just destroy the subsistence farms. Keep the Hessian line marching into position. Lots of farm upgrades, lots of government upgrades. May as well just upgrade them. This is like the one chance we'll get to do it without having to worry about anything else. Can you leave here on territory now? Minus 11. Even without taxes. Fleet arrives, Earl Isaacs. Okay, so let's send. Okay, so who have we got? Fifth rate, sixth rate. Let's drop both of these on Ethan Zanger's stack, bringing in more goods. Grand Bahamas was blockaded, as is tradition. Still recruiting. Our income is down to 6,000. Trade impact is starting to bite. But at least we've got visibility. They do have an embarked army. So these guys are going to go hit Newfoundland, destroy this force here, and then they will be shifted towards Maine, probably by the same sort of time that our force will be reaching Quebec. Now, they might not engage Quebec. They may hold off at range and allow reinforcements to catch up but we definitely want to put the territory under threat in order to prevent them from being able to freely move that stack of uh, troops embarked aboard ship and the ottomans are going to do what the ottomans do it looks like the austrians are actually at war with the ottomans now and they're pushing south They've taken Zagreb, so uh, Venice is now cut off. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Marathas are sending armies, sending troops towards us, or to sea anyway. New Spain is being awesome. I mean, not that it'll help. Because the pirates will just go blockade them anyway. In comes Denmark. Hmm. Don't you get up to mischief. In the Barbary States. It's a good job we're at peace with them, because then it means we just don't have any annoying little, any more annoying little factions nipping our heels like the pirates. Another gentleman. Get him over to Oxford. Good. 
new nation arises. Venice, they've thrown, they've revolted and thrown the Ottomans out. Nation destroyed. Saxony. Who took out Saxony? Prussia did. Interesting. Grand Bahama. Okay. Ready for so new men push. You keep trying to catch up with them. You guys get within range. Probably move the ship's sands sloop around towards Newfoundland. Pretty the infrastructure. To be honest, the best thing to do might be to strip men away from this force and have them go join Elias Haskett. War declared between Spain and Portugal. To be expected. Let's hope Portugal does well. Okay, so this fleet, these fleets, you can go base yourself out of Liverpool. Could probably upgrade some government buildings, but I think it's probably wise to pick up. Let's get a Brunswick Dragoon and two units of line to sit in the capital. Let's probably jump over to the Americas and take this force under Winston Holiday. And attack the French at Newfoundland. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. I'm sorry this has been a bit of a, a boring part, but uh, sometimes early campaign it's more about moving your pieces into the right positions. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for our first offensive action against the French. Cheers everyone.